This is the um, over-the-air TV connection that I now use to watch TV. Recently, my family cut the cord from Verizon, and uh, I no longer have a cable box in my room as I used to. Um, as you can see, I have the antenna here, and I have the converter box. Obviously, I can't use this thing's tuner because it's not digital. Uh, let's go into more detail about this thing. Here's the box that it came in. It's the View TV AT263 digital converter box. They got it for thirty dollars off of Amazon. No, just some typical thing. Uh, the bottom, it's got some of the features. Uh, pretty standard, pretty standard. Just no convert signals. Program guide. Um, you know, it does have recording functionality and USB multimedia. But yeah, it has a handle though. This box is so small. I don't know why you need it. Yeah, honestly, I don't have the box in here. It's already set up. But here's the manual. It's a somewhat broken English. Um, here's the remote. Takes two AAA batteries. Here are the ones that are included. Very light. I don't think these are going to last very long. But, you won't, whatever. I'm going to just use them until they die. Uh, HDMI cable, composite cable, so cheap, but whatever. Uh, just, uh, here's the warranty information, basic warranty. I don't think anyone's going to care about this, but whatever. Alright, All right. let's get into more detail about the Apple unit itself. As you can see, there's the information right there. Power button, menu, USB port. So It's a little bit broken there, but eh. Got the time display. Got volume up, volume down, channel up, channel down, and an OK button, as well as a power indicator. Uh, the bottom, is, uh, I guess that's serial information, same as the box. Um, on the back, got more information, RF in, RF out, HDMI out, composite and component. And of course, power. That's about it for the box, nothing special, I'll show you more when I turn it on later. Uh, as for the antenna, it's a Kmart KM450 UHS slash VHS slash FM stereo indoor quote unquote color TV antenna. Yep, uh, I bet some of the older people out there can remember how companies would say that your antenna supports color even though it literally doesn't matter, any antenna that can pick up the signal can pick up color. And they can even, in fact, pick up HD too, because this thing, it gets HD video, even though, you know, my TV's at HD, but that's besides the point. At the back, you got two wires, UHF and VHF, and they go to this combiner here, or splitter, depending on which way you're using it. Screw terminals, and it just goes to a uh, 75 ohm connector, to this GE amplifier, so that way I can amplify the signals, because... Indoor antennas don't typically do the best job getting signal. It's a GE model number 42178. And that just plugs into the converter box. So, I'm going to turn this all on. I'm going to show you it working. Actually, before I show you the operation, I'm just going to show you the boxes for the other two things. So, here's the antenna amplifier, as you can see. You know. Claims to also have a cellular filter, so I guess that's nice. Uh, uh. And I even have the box for the antenna. Old thing, but got it. Wow. It is made in the USA, so that's nice. Apparently, someone paid twenty-three dollars and forty-four cents for it. Same on the other side. All right. Well, let's uh, show you the thing in operation. All right. Let's turn the TV on. Uh, I did a video on this TV, so if you want to see that, I'll link it in the description below. And uh, let me just turn down the volume just in case. Don't want to get any copyright strikes, and also you won't be able to hear me if it's too loud. Turn on the converter box. 
has a startup screen. It says boot on the display. And yeah, you're just gonna have to ignore the screen effect. I, I'm not seeing that in person. That's only on camera. That happens to many CRT recordings. But yeah, there you go. Right now I have it on New York Gov. Just make sure I don't get any copyright strikes from TV companies. Um, close to the menus. You can see it's pretty self-explanatory. These things are nearly foolproof at this point. Program, get edit, show the epic go guide, and sort the channel order. A picture, you know, aspect ratio, resolution, TV format, and the transparency of the on-screen display. Channel search, this is where you set up the channels. You got automatic, manual, your region, your antenna power, signal type, and your modulation for it. If you use the RF output, you can select channel 3 or channel 4. Time, pretty standard, set your time. Options, you got on screen display language, closed caption options, digital uh, digital audio and audio language. This is all very similar. Uh, system, you do a parental guidance, setting passwords, restoring the default information, as well as software updates, because you can't upgrade the software on this when the company releases it. And USB, this is where you can access a USB device to uh, view what's on your drive. Uh, you see, there's the episode guide in action. Um, you can actually see the full thing. You can adjust the volume from the um, converter box, though most people will probably just use their TV's volume controls. Channel selection, just, you know, let me just go back. Uh, it does have a system where the menu selection buttons are also the channel and volume buttons. And, uh, yeah. Alright, I'm going to show you some of the USB functionality. I'm going to play a video that won't get me struck. Alright, I got a USB drive and the videos I can play. So I'm going to just plug that in. Oh, excuse me. There you go, it's in. I actually had the TV hooked through both component video and RF channel 3. This is component video right now and uh, it actually looks pretty good. I mean it's not high definition but it's as good as CRT video can get. So on the remote there's a button for the USB and open up, load videos and there's the USB drive. It does show everything but Let's just play the video that I can actually play. Turn up the volume on the TV so we can actually hear it this time around. Oh yeah, one thing about this. If you want to play in full screen, you have to press play instead of OK. Uh, right now, I just pressed OK, so it's just playing it in the top corner here. Let me just stop it and then press play. There, now it's going full screen. Yeah, I just got one of my older videos playing, but it's something that I know won't get me struck, so that's why I'm playing it. No, yeah, it works. Nothing particularly special. Oh, wow. See here? It says USB, and the drive's going off. I did a lot of slow motion on this video, but yeah. So uh, it's, it works, and it uh, works just fine. Uh, let me turn down the volume. So yeah, that's the TV set that I now use. Um, works just fine. Hope you enjoyed watching the video, though. There's really not much to enjoy, but now you know.